Last week, we talked about cancers such as cervical cancer. This week, we're going to talk about some other organ which is also infected by such sexually transmitted infection of HPV causing a oral uh, pharyngeal cancer. So oral pharyngeal cancer, as the name suggests, that it is actually a cancer arising from the pharynx and also the mouth. It itself is quite curious, is because it's also caused by HPV, predominantly HPV 16. So how does it get there? Some people believe that it's due to oral sexual activity and that itself will transmit the virus to the oral pharyngeal area. And the most famous person apparently had oral pharyngeal cancer and probably related to HPV is somebody who is called Michael Douglas. So is this really caused by uh, HPV? We shall never find out. It's because it's obviously confidential. But what does oral pharyngeal cancer cause? HPV can actually induce cancerous changes in the oral pharyngeal area. Interestingly, this is more common in countries such as high resource country as USA, Europe and Australia and New Zealand. Nobody knows why, however, we believe that when cervical cancer actually is under control, then oral pharyngeal cancer will steadily go up. It's because there's no screening and also perhaps men in many of these countries are not protected. In fact, the prevalence of oral pharyngeal cancer is about three to four times higher in men as compared to women. I think that probably is also related to other things such as high prevalence of smoking and also alcohol consumption that will make somebody who's infected with HPV 16 more prone to such cancer. Majority of these patients after diagnosis will require some form of treatment that may include radiotherapy for example and following that most people hopefully discovered early and will make full recovery. For following week, we are going to talk about how HPV can induce another form of cancer, which is anal cancer. So can the anus itself having cancer? You need to find out. Stay tuned for next week's Putting Dr. G on the Spot.